Okay, we have a couple of links here, but nothing from our pipe. You can see water here, but not, but our pipe is holding all the pressure. Um, there's zero loose coming out of it, and um, it looks good. We do have some leaks around the uh, pipe up here. It's holding full pressure, uh, no problems. You can see the little gizmo I got here, not to run it through. And it's leaking, but our joint where we solder is holding full pressure. So everything worked out good. Everything worked out good. I bleed, I blend water through, so. Um, there you have it. Hopefully you never have to do that, but um, that's one way of knowing it if you had to. I'm going to show you one last thing. If you're, if, if you choose to, um, for a lead line, I would, um, if you're able, you know, depending on what you're doing, I would thread in a piece of 3 8 pipe because it gives you more strength around the wall on the lead pipe. It leaves more of it there. So, that is another option. Of course, you don't want a brass or a chrome uh, piece of brass. They sell brass that's just playing brass. This is now you can clean the chrome off in there if you wanted to, but <coughs> I want to show you this piece of three inch brass here. Now this will also work for him. I want to show you the size difference between the three eighths and the half inch pipe. If you look at a mouth. It's really not that much of a difference between the three eighths and the half inch. So, you know, especially if it's not a main line, um, it's a branch, you can definitely get away with this. And it'd be a lot easier in a solder. I would even say you'd probably get away with it in your main line too. But anyway, we did the half inch. And I just want to let you know that. That is the same, same procedure, that is an option with your um, 3 8 pipe also, 3 8 pipe thread. One other thing, um, the reason why we're threading into the lead is we get a lot of contact between the brass and the lead, which makes the... Um, the heat flow from the brass into the lead better. Because if that don't happen, you really can't heat the lead up. It'll just melt away. So, you can only heat the brass part. And we need the heat to go from the brass into the lead on the inside. And that's why we do that. 